In this tutorial, I'll walk you through setting up your source system to get files into BW. Go ahead and click on source systems, and then you can view all the different source systems that can bring data into BW. Let's rename the BW source system right now. We'll just call it BW. And if we look down here, we see the file system. So let's right click on that and choose create. Let's call this Z flat file. And give it a name of flat file. Click OK. And now this is going to go ahead and create the source system. So when we expand the tree, we can see the actual source system right there. So if we double click into that, we jump into the source system where we can then create our data source connection that will allow us to bring files into VW. And on the first load, it might take a little bit of time because it is activating programs for the first time in your system. All right, so now that we're inside the Z flat file source system, we need to now create a new data source. But before that, we have to first create an application component. And that's essentially a folder for all of your data sources within a source system. As you can see, we can toggle between the two source systems that currently have data sources. And if we right click on the background here, we can choose to create our application component. Now you can call us whatever you want. It's just a folder, it really serves no other purpose except for organizing your data sources. So I'm just gonna call it ZTestAC and application component test. Hit okay. And then now to create our data source, all we're doing is right clicking on the application component and choosing create data source. We'll call this Z test cust because we'll be loading in some customer information and it's a file that contains transactions. Click the okay button. And now we can just give this a random description. Again, this is just a quick example. And the next step is to click on the extraction tab and actually point SAP in our data source to the file. So come on down to that file name field and then click on the little white box. And that's gonna allow you to point SAP GUI to the file you wanna load. So here's my customer's CSV file. I'll go ahead and open that. And there is one header row in this file, so I'll just ignore that by typing one. And we'll change the data format to be a CSV because it's separated by commas. So we'll update that separator as well. Next, we'll move on to the proposal tab and just choose load example data. SAP is prompting us. If you want to connect to the file, choose allow. And the data looks good. That's exactly how it looks in the file. The fields all came over, descriptions. And then when we click on the fields tab, we see that we have all of our fields and we could assign info objects to them to make it easier for BW to recognize the data types. But we don't need to do that right now, so we'll click on preview. We'll activate this data source. And once it's active, we have a fully functioning flat file data source that we can use to bring data into BW. Click allow.
And there you go. There's all the data. This can now be moved into BW, into all the objects. Thank you.